from my perspective, the most interesting thing about 5G for cars is just the sense that the car will always be connected. It's not that it will be down, right, that it will be preparing autonomy in real time. It's more just the sense that the car, the entertainment system, the information, the telematics is always there. 5G for, for us is, a, is the infrastructure, is the mm. uh, precondition, uh, something like uh, making available electricity uh, uh, in order to build uh, uh, on top of that uh, for multiple uh, industry sectors. Uh, automotive is, is one of them. Uh, the, the 5G network, uh, just to mention numbers, uh, we have uh, more than uh, uh, 160 uh, networks commercially available in, uh, globally, and uh, yes. more than 70, 75 are in Europe. So Europe is 48% uh, of the total. So there is a big uh, uh, investment in deploying this infrastructure. And so yes. thanks to this infrastructure, more and more uh, elements are part of the uh, 5G uh, digital connectivity and, and, and ecosystem. The cars will be uh, uh, element of that, are uh, uh, element of that. We expect uh, uh, late 22, beginning 23, to have the, the first 5G equipped car that is uh, much, much faster uh, compared to what happened with the uh, 4G. So we see also an acceleration in adoption. But mm -hmm. anyhow, the, the 5G is uh, enabling uh, many things. First of all, it's enabling AI. AI without 5G is, is very difficult to do it. Why? Because uh, AI implies uh, uh, access to the cloud. Uh, AI implies uh, uh, exchange of data uh, in real time, low latency. And um, again, AI will uh, leverage on this uh, uh, 5G infrastructure. And AI is uh, an important element of the car in the future. AI, we welcome at the fourth generation that we develop uh, starting from smartphone. So uh, we apply AI to uh, sound quality, to video quality, computer vision, machine learning. Of course, <laughs> AI is the uh, pillar of uh, autonomous driving aids, but uh, AI is first of all the uh, the function and, and the uh, capability to uh, optimize uh, user experience uh, uh, on feature set already available. So it's not only creating new features, but it's also making a different user experience with the existing, uh, existing uh, uh, performance. AI uh, will be, uh, and it is from our perspective, an architecture that has been uh, heterogeneous, so an architecture that in terms of hardware, entering some of the details, is uh, based on the CPU, on the GPU, based on the DSP. So it's not a single hardware element, but uh, it is a, a reference design, including more uh, hardware components to achieve and deliver the, uh, the best performance, plus AI, and then I'm moving to ADAS in a way direction, is uh, uh, expecting a protocol stack, software, 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 software that, uh, uh, again, uh, from our perspective, is important to be an open platform so that uh, there is an opportunity to build on top or to integrate feature set to uh, enable differentiation, customization. So, uh, heter heterogeneous architecture plus open protocol stack AI back to 5G. 5G, of course, uh, uh, is a standard, another very important element. It's a standard that is adopted globally. So it's enabling for our industry players economy of scale. So we can deliver the same product around the world and the economy of scale is uh, reducing uh, the cost 